For today's lesson, we're going to go over what I've called energy matters. The reason why I say energy matters is because, you know, for a lot of us, we have been so trained to work, 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 but we've never actually been taught all the contributing factors which leads to us having highly productive work. You know, we're living in a society where um, they are romanticizing the grind in the sense of you're being taught you have to be working around the clock, work, 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 work. But in actuality, everybody is given 24 hours in a day. But the truth of the matter is there's some people who just get more out of the day. You know, a lot of us, we might all work in a day, but some of us might get more out of it. And one of the reasons why is because of energy, right? Energy matters. So, you know, when it comes to um, the standard person, right? For the standard person who's not a game changer like you and I, who doesn't have this information, they understand that their game changing move comes through just productivity, right? Or just flat out work, right? Work, 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 work. So they'll do a task, they'll be in a meeting, they'll do a trillion different things at once, right? And because of the fact that they're so busy being busy, they'll feel like they've gotten a lot done. But this, per this person that's focused on productivity just this way, by the way, of focusing just on tasks, right? Tasks and activity. Being busy. This person is not going to accomplish as much as the person who is mindful about how to maximize their productivity. Right now, how do you maximize the productivity? The person who is the productivity maximizer, or I will say, um, the game changer, the game changer understands that the power of his results doesn't come through tasks, activities, and being busy. It comes by way of how he's managing his time, right? Because you could be dedicating a lot of time to being busy, but that just means you're spending a lot of time looking busy with no results. It's like being on a treadmill. You know, you could be running real fast on a treadmill, but you're not actually going anywhere, right? So the game changer, his first focus is on time. His second focus is on his attention, right? Because in the time that you are given, how focused is your attention on the task? How focused is your attention on the activity? You see what I'm saying? For a lot of people, what they would do is they would do a large series of tasks or activities all day while being on the phone, while text messaging people, checking their phone every two minutes, tweeting, Facebooking, you know, listening to things, uh, you know, while they're trying to get something big accomplished. And then they wonder why they're not the person that can really take on a big project. This type of person is, is, is usually the type of person that only gets a lot of small tasks done. This is not a person who's mastered the art of taking big projects and being able to get them completed from start to finish because of the fact that they have not mastered their attention in getting things done. See, when it comes to our lives, your attention is scarce and your attention comes at a premium because there are so many things in society that's competing for your attention, right? You might have your favorite television show or commercial competing for your attention. You might have whoever is hitting you up on the phone competing for your attention. Your boss might be competing for your attention. Your coworker might be. Somebody who gets on your last nerves might be competing for your attention. And all these people are going to be taking away your attention when it takes away from your results, right? 
there's a direct correlation between your attention to an activity to your results. Lastly, the game changers are focused on their energy. Now, here's what I mean when I say that. How many times have you heard of someone that was a billionaire that was grossly overweight, that was obese? Rarely ever. The reason is because they understand that in order for them to achieve success on that level and be in the top 1% of the most successful, productive people in the world in terms of results, that means that they're going to have to have a higher energy threshold than the average person. So see, again, what the average person does is the average person will wake up and they will just think about their tasks and activities. And they won't dedicate any time into their physical health, their emotional health, their spiritual health, or their mental health, which all plays a role in their energy. What you don't, well, what most people don't understand is if your energy is depleted, there's no way that you're going to become a game changer. You're not going to be as productive as the person that has down maximum energy if your energy is depleted. So say, for example, right, two people go to work. They both have a lot of things to get done for the day. One person is full of energy. They just completed, you know, a workout. Maybe they got a, you know, some type of green tea drink to really get them going. You know, maybe they had some green smoothie. Maybe they had some high protein breakfast and they're off to the to the races for the day. Then you have somebody else who stayed up all night the night before was in all types of fights with their spouse or their significant other, you know, and they are coming to work totally drained. Both two people have the same workload. But this per because this person had a ritual in place to enhance their energy in the morning, guess who's going to get more accomplished? The person who has more energy. Because when you have the energy, that's going to allow your time to be more productive while you're working on the task, right? Because you're not going to be sitting up thinking about how tired you are, how groggy you are, how much you really don't want to be there. If you have high energy, that's creating high attention because that means that you have layers of focus on what you're trying to get done. If your energy and your attention is in the right place, right? So this makes all the difference. But in society, they never tell you that the key three things that goes into making a game changer has nothing to do with the task itself. The task is just simply the after effect of the time, how good of a time manager you are, how good you are at managing your attention, and how good you are at managing your energy. If you don't understand that you have to have mastery over these three things, there's no way that you're going to be one of the most productive people or even live at your peak potential. Right? So... I want to go over this again in a little bit more detail just to really cement the point. When it comes to your time, right, all of us are given 24 hours in a day, but we don't all use the 24 hours the same way, right? The people who are highly productive with their time, remember the first video that I showed you about how much do you value your time? The people who are productive with their time work in what's called productivity cycles, right? So they understand they have certain box of time in every single day where they're going to compact their activities to get it done. A lot of times what these types of people do is they work in uh, 90 minutes on, 10 minutes off productivity cycles, right? Now for the first person that doesn't manage their time, how many times have you ever found yourself working on an activity and then you lost track of time? You didn't know where time went, right? It's like time flies. The people who are the game changers, they're always very meticulous about how much time 
they're spending on a certain activity because a lot of times it comes down to it, you can dedicate more time to something than you really should. So again, time is everything because we all have 24 hours in a day, but it's how you manage that 24 hours in a day that makes all the difference. Secondly, when it comes to your attention, right, your attention is scarce. You know, and a lot of times what people do is they get duped into what society calls multitasking. There's no such thing as multitasking. Whenever you're in the process of what's quote-unquote quote called multitasking, your brain is very rapidly shifting from one thing to another, single tasking. It's not actually doing two things at once. Your brain can only do one, it can only focus on one activity at once. But as you are in the process of multitasking, you're actually diminishing the quality of your tasks and your activities, right? If somebody has, has to write a book, and the whole time while they're writing on a, a book, they're listening to music, they're chatting with people, you know what I mean, their kid is yelling at them in the background, they're not going to be as productive as the person whose sole focus is writing the book. So you have to make sure that your attention is always being guarded in society. You know, your attention is really more scarce than your time because there's only so much time you have to have full-blown attention within a day, right? Most of us... Pretty much none of us don't ha have 24 hours of full-fledged focused and attention in a day. We only have certain bursts of time where we have enough focus, enough willpower to truly lock in on what we're doing. That's why you have to guard your attention. When it's time for you to have your attention locked into something, block everything else out. Right? Like, for example, as I'm working on this video, I'm not on my phone. My phone is off. I'm not focused on anything else but this because I want to make sure that I give you the best quality video as possible. That is largely attributed to my attention, right? And when we're talking about energy, you have to place a bigger priority on managing your energy. And the energy is led by your diet. Your energy is led by exercise, your energy is led by, um, you know, how much water are you drinking in a day? You know, there, there are so many things that goes into building a strong energy reserve that we underestimate every single day, and that's the reason why we never have enough energy to get big things done. You know, we aspire to be great people and want to do great things, but if we don't have the energy to get those things done from start to finish, it's never going to happen. That's the reason why, I'll tell you right now, the most successful people in the world, the multimillionaires and a lot of the business partners that I work with, all of them exercise. All of them are on a diet program. All of them, they adopt healthy principles because they understand that health is wealth. Right? So... This is just the tip of the iceberg as it pertains to your energy. There's a lot more things that would be very good for building your energy. Things like meditation, things like having daily rituals, you know, uh, things like novelty, new activities, reading new books, experiencing new things. All of these things contribute to the grand scheme of how to be more productive, right? It's kind of just like they say in society. If you have eight hours to cut down a tree, spend the first four hours sharpening the saw. The person who's just trying to focus on tasks and activities, they're going to spend all eight hours trying to cut down the tree, but they're using a very dull weapon. The game changer is going to spend their time, attention, and energy sharpening the saw, so that way when it comes down to cutting the tree, it's as easy as one, two, three. Right? Your tasks and your results could be a lot better if you focused on these three areas. So what I want you to do is, from this video, I want you to leave me a comment, and I want you to tell me 
how you're going to improve on at least one of these three areas. These are all very important. And I, if you're really trying to be a game changer, I would go so far as to think about one thing that you are going to do to make an impact in all of these three different areas. So one way that you're going to improve your time management. One area that you're going to improve your attention management. One area that you're going to improve your energy management. You know, tell me what you're going to do on the road to becoming a game changer. And then I'll send you some feedback. Maybe I'll even share with you some of the things that I do. Some of my energy hacks or some of my time hacks. Some of my attention hacks to get as much done in a day as I can do.